What's up, everybody? Derek G here. Feed Fire Films. Reckless Beats. Sacred Life Mandalas, obviously. Um, it's all just me. Um, I wanted to make a little video about how I actually create my mandalas. Like, from beginning to end, like, the whole process and show people exactly where the, the root of all these finished products actually comes from. So, uh, I made some images, a little slideshow deal that I'm going to click through or whatever. And, uh, I'll explain as I go along. So, let me click to the next slide. And here you can see stage one, basically. This is where it all starts. What this mandala is originally drawn on is a four inch by six inch little blue notepad, basically. So the whole the whole circle there in original size is only four inches in in diameter. So from there, that's just hand-drawn pencil and paper with a compass and ruler just basically a little scribble if you think about it because I'm not doing it on these giant pieces of paper like some of them yeah I I I do on on um oversized whatever it is 14 by 11 it's big thick art paper you know some of them are I can only go so big because of my scanner because that's the next stage is I have to scan it so it has to fit into my scanner so I can only make them so big to begin with but once I scan it then I stick it in Photoshop and take out what I don't need you know what I mean erase my lines that I don't need and desaturate it and just get a black and white um, framework is basically what I call it it's just a framework because now I have my geometry all cut out and I can select bits and pieces of it and do what I want with it from there digitally you know so that's where the next slide comes in that's where stage three comes in is uh, here stage three color enhancement on all the little sections of things on my grid on my framework which basically leaves me with a, a finished product right there that's basically a finished product to begin with but I've always take things to stage four you know like here's stage four well here's another example okay here, here's another example of uh, what this is is I'm showing you this mandala and I'm showing you this mandala because I used them both to create something new so that's state here's another little tiny this notepad was yellow I had a blue I had blue and yellow notepads and that's what I used so another four inches they're all just four inches man this is actually marker but of course it was drawn with a pencil first and shaded in later with a sharpie you know just a, a black sharpie but anyway where am I going I'm going here that's what it looks like once I desaturate and get my framework when you use a sharpie so I can black areas out on my original on purpose to make sure that I get something that looks like this in Photoshop but I don't normally think about what I'm gonna do with Photoshop when I uh, when I'm drawing a mandala it's more like you're not here you're somewhere else in a way but anyway here's that finished product you know stage three on that one and there's a bunch of them I have a uh, random different color sets and inverted colors and you know I, I make different ones but this is basically the finished product uh, on them both the last one and this one and so when I take them from there and I put them together you know that becomes like it's it's it's, it's a new stage one really but for these purposes I, I called it stage four and that's what you get after, you know, your uh, first few edits of a few mandalas. That's if you're going to mix them. A lot of them I just stick with one. But uh, this one I decided to mix 
just because of the whole the name of it really it's a whole tri triangle deal going on here and they're both based on on they got this triangle shape to them both so I mixed them you know and that's one finished product you know fin well finished product number three if you think about it but number two for these purposes because this all gets put into one and then of course again I have to take this again and go to stage five with it and end up with something new again which is this <laughs> this is created out of this which was created you know out of this and this those those two make up this one and this one makes up that one and so that's basically how it's done it's not that it ha happens quickly it's not that I do this in a day or something like that I've had hundreds of my uh, mandalas scanned like like this over here for a, a few years now I have I have some that I haven't even they're just sitting there they're still just stock notepad mandalas like this that I haven't even no one's even seen them but me in other words you know I have hundreds of these things because I disappear and I, I come back and I end up with something like this I, I don't know exactly what happens but and then you know I, I frame it out I colorize it and I'm done and I put it away and then I do another one like this and I frame it out and I put it and I'll do a dozen like that one day and they'll just sit there and they'll sit there until I decide to put them together into something like this and then you know this influences this which is done I don't I don't take anything from here and make anything new to me this is I've I've used my art as much as possible at that point I wouldn't I, w I would look for other mandalas to do stuff with in other words I wouldn't want to keep recycling the same thing which, which is you know I mean I guess you could because I could just manipulate this but what's the point isn't it beautiful the way it is you know why take this any further did I not get something gorgeous off of these little notepads I mean, look, granted, it, t it takes a few hours to cut these things out and, and make this, this black and white desaturated framework. That is where the work is, really. Coloring things and, and mixing things like this is fun. That's actually fun. The other side of it is really tedious, and it takes a long time to get the base, to get this base here, the white base. It takes a long time working on this notepad because, I mean, it's just a piece of notepad paper. It's got vertical lines running through it. So it takes a long time to get rid of a lot of this stuff and keep what you want also, you know, and get it to be a framework like that. This stuff over here, this is fun. This is the, what's fun about it. And then this is even more fun. But after that, you gotta start over with something new and I just figured I'd share a little process I, I don't want to really take too much longer because there's not much to say about it you, you guys can go check out all my websites there's tons of these pictures everywhere um, I just figured you might find it interesting how how it starts how it's done where the framework comes from because it really is you know it's it's hand drawn it like a lot of artists look at this digital type art as not real art in a way because I didn't do it with my hands but I did do it with my hands if it wasn't for my hands to begin with then I wouldn't have any of this to do anything digital digital me with so to those artists out there that think that digital art is not really like a real art they're wrong. They need to wake up and they need to open their minds because that's what artists are supposed to do. 
Open your minds. Utilize it like I did. I'm using both. I'm using my hands and the digital. They classify it as mixed media. And that's what it is. It's a drawing and it's mixed media. And that's, you know, those are two different categories. But anyway, I'm starting to babble. You know, check out my website here. That's just a few I put up because, you know, I could make 50 slides with 50 websites, but what's the point? <laughs> I just, uh, I've just been putting this stuff out there a lot. And I figured I might as well explain how it's done for the people who are curious to how it's done. Like, I have the tutorials and stuff on how to draw some of these things, the basic steps and stuff. So you can get started if you're interested. But, uh, you know, other than that, it's, it's you know, Photoshop and I gotta have a scanner and there's other little things that everybody could get. But, you know, I just figured you might be interested and I wanted to share how all my mandalas on the internet in digital form all hold the human element still. They, they don't, like, that's, what's, that's what separates it from digital art, is that it has a human element in it, which is me in my hands. And I wanted to show that, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to take off. I'll say uh, peace, love, and gratitude. Thanks for watching, and namaste to all of you.